Texas has gone way too far with its little cup scheme. It's that offensive. It really is. December 12th, 2016, there was a bust in New York. The Southern District of New York, U.S. District Court, busted a securities fraud scheme. I didn't know about it directly at the time, but I was trying, it had been for about a week prior to that day, to find somebody to report some information I had regarding securities fraud. And I went to the police. What happened, happened. I didn't end up getting to file that report, let's put it that way, right? But I found the press release connected to the bust in New York sometime later. You know those things about how you might have uh, concurrent processes going on? It's one of those things that somebody considers uh, cognizability. It's a legal term. In 2015, Texas changed the laws concerning first-time driver's license uh, acquisition. They created three different categories of first-time drivers. One were for people that were between the ages of 15 and I believe uh, 18, and then one were for people between the ages of 18 and 24. And the understanding is one was called the uh, uh, teen drivers and one was called the youth drivers. There was also supposed to be an adult drivers program. And what this entailed is there was a online video you were supposed to watch. It had information about driving safety. And after you finished the instructional, the online instructional component, you got a certificate. And you needed that certificate that had a unique certificate number in order to go to the driver's uh, uh, bureau, to the Department of Public Safety, and get your driver's license issued. By law, there were supposed to be three different programs, one for the teens, one for the youth, one for the adults. But for whatever reason, up until the summer of 2018, Texas just refused to provide a separate program for the adults. So if you were over the age of 24, you were required to watch the Young Drivers, the Texas Young Drivers Impact Program, okay? There's a big difference between being 15 to 18. And there's a big difference between being 18 to 24. And then there's a big difference of being an adult. There's nothing legitimate about having a 40 year old woman throw her lots in with 18 year olds that are just learning how to drive. I understand it is absolutely 100% connected to trafficking young people in the state of Texas. I believe they do it because they have these outstanding obligations and they use those occasional adult drivers that were not already drivers before 2015 and throw them in with the young people and use them to cooperate with these other processes they have going on where they harvest and launder the intangible property of minors and young people in order to deal with debts that have been accrued by older people. That's charge one. By law, Texas should already have had a program for the adults and they just refused to do it. They were supposed to have it for two years. It was supposed to already be. They, by law, were required to have it. And for two years, they just didn't. Now, I don't know if parents or adults that had young people that were driving noticed but here's the question. How many of them watched what those young people were required to watch? Because I didn't watch the teen one. I watched the Young Drivers Program, and it is horrifying. It's three hours. Three, it's three segments. And uh, at least three different times within those three hours, they have some picture of somebody talking about a driving fatality where they hold up a cell phone, and the time on the phone is 4.20. All of, the same, all of them are holding the same style of cell phone. But regardless of what they say the last text message was, the time is 420. There is a strategic delay of three seconds that corresponds with something that is mentioned in somebody's testimonial about being a witness to or being involved in a car accident that resulted in a fatality, where they said, 
that it on, they only took their eyes off the road for three seconds. And when they took their eyes off the road, that's when the accident occurred. But there's a strategic delay of three seconds when it comes to the difference between the audio and what is recounted in the subtitles if one is comparing between English and Spanish. And there are all of these distinctions and all of these sabotages in the actual subtitles, specifically in Spanish. As a matter of fact, there is the ending where the official in charge of the Department of Public Safety is making a presentation talking about how in the year that they are you know, discussing fatalities and accidents, he says in English that 19 state troopers were injured or killed by accidents that happened while they were on the shoulder. So they pulled somebody over, they were on the shoulder, there was an accident, 19. That was the benchmark, 19. But when it translates into Spanish, what they say is state officials. In English, it's state troopers. In Spanish, it's state officials. And you get a three second delay if you're reading the subtitles in English that you don't get if you're reading them in Spanish. Now, there is a, a noted historical figure in Texas. He is a war hero from the Vietnam era. I've read part of his biography as somebody that grew up in a military family, although not from Texas. This is the kind of story that is the kind of thing you're very proud of and very proud that the people you are a part of came from this. He wasn't an officer. He was enlisted. And he ended up saving the lives of eight people while he had a gut wound. That is an amazing story. But they start this Texas Impact Young Drivers Program off with a family who has the same surname as this man from Texas, who, by the way, was from the border region. He was an indigenous man from the border area of Texas. He ended up joining the military. He fought in the Vietnam War. He saved eight of his buddies with a gut wound. He lived to tell about it, even though they said he was going to die. This guy is a badass, amazing war hero, a part of Texas history that everybody should be proud of. But because of the way Texas likes to trash everything to make it cheap, they literally start off a story about driving fatalities, talking about a family that automatically harkens to this particular war hero that's a part of Texas history. And not just Texas history, but history of the United States military, the history of the United States Marine Corps. And they intentionally did it. He intentionally developed that program to embed and implant a lack of confidence and elements of sabotage into the unconsciousness of young drivers. And not only that, the way that they create these scenarios and the little tricks like the 420 on the phone. My understanding is that this program was a Texas version of a program developed in California. The program in California was developed by the California Education Association, the California State Troopers Association, and California Casualty Insurance. They're trying to excitate and entice and implant into young drivers this personality that is trying to provoke the worst side of them. And on one hand, embed and encode into young drivers a sense of lacking confidence while they're driving. But also, on the other hand, to implant that sort of snark ass mentality. Oh, yeah? 420. <laughs> they put 420. They don't know what that means. Oh, 420. And then you're 420. And then what, uh, what happens when you get the wrong attitude with the cop at the right, wrong time? They are trying to implant these moments to set off the young people, to teach them a fucking lesson. What happens if it goes wrong? That's exactly what they did. Then they issue a certificate. And my contention is those certificates are acts of fucking securities fraud. That they're literally producing a certificate with a certificate number on every young person that's different and distinct from the contract number at the bottom of their driver's license. And they're using those certificates as securities and using it to literally traffic the people that are a part of this driver's program as part of bunk securities deals that they aren't even prepared to cover. And I think they just made a big, big deposit with those certificates. 